and let us all that we can to build a better future. On an ice cold drink. Yes, you could have some iced tea, some cool water, maybe an ice cold beer. Why not? Or how about a nice chemical Coca-Cola? What do you mean, Kit Chemical Coca-Cola? What are you talking about? Well, <clears throat> I know it's from RT. I know. Watch, watch the vote blue no matter who crowd just, just crap their pants. Coca-Cola Chemical League prompts evacuation. Ammonia escaping from a 20,000-gallon container stoked concerns of wider contamination. I don't think I'll ever drink a soda ever again. I mean, I've I've been I've been staying away from sodas for quite some time, but you know, when I think of Coca Cola, and I, I like how that how they got that like little truck right there, now hiring, and they got Coca Cola beverages, uh, Florida, all that stuff, ammonia, ammonia and soda, two things you 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 would never uh, would think in the back of your mind would work together. Who's ready to barf? Are you ready to throw up? I, I can't wait to see the tweets on social media. Hardlands Media made me sick to my stomach. I can't believe it. Ammonia and soda. Workers at a Coca-Cola plant in Florida were forced to evacuate following a major chemical leak, uh, a local official said. The spill also prompted a brief shelter in place for residents in the area. What's going on? Is there another train derailment? No, the Coca-Cola factory blew up. <laughs> oh, my God. Ah, a massive 20,000 gallon tank was found to be leaking ammonia at a facility in uh, Aberdale, Florida. Early on Wednesday morning, a city spokesperson told a local Fox affiliate, noting that all employees were evacuated from the plant. Good for them. It's good that nobody was hurt. Residents living in a two block area near the factory were also asked to take shelter following the discovery. Uh, uh, Doe. The order was lifted several hours later after fire crews successfully capped the leak. Cap. There you go. Cleanup operations were reportedly completed sometime around 3.30 p.m. There have been no reports of serious injuries to employees or local residents, though the Coca-Cola company later issued a statement noting that a few electrical employees working nearby sought medical attention for minor eye and throat irritations. Uh, the deputy fire chief, David Cash, also said some citizen called to complain about a chemical order and irritation that may have been caused by the spill, but claimed that the substance had largely been contained in the plant. So, again, ammonia comes out as a liquid, then it evaporates into uh, vapor, he said. We had both issues going on. Vapor went up and outside the plant, a small amount of it. The liquid was contained, and we mixed water with it. Uh, you can spray water on it, and that minimizes that minimizes it. Uh, and that all was contained inside the plant and inside their filtration system, so none of that escaped off the scene. Cash said the leak was caused by a problem with piping. Got to lay down that pipe. Lay down that pipe. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. All right, right. Got to calm down with that. On the 20,000-gallon container, adding that while contractors were doing work in the plant near the site of the spill, they followed all the rules and did everything right. It is unclear what the chemical was used for at the facility. That's the frightening thing right there. What's it being used for? Here, let's zoom in on it together. It'll be fun. It is unclear what the chemical is used for at the facility. Coco also apologized to employees and locals for the inconvenience this may have caused them, insisting that its first priority is always the safety of our people and nearby residents, to which I must go then back to this sentence. It is unclear what the chemical was used for at the facility. Mm -mm -mm. So who's ready to buy a nice uh, can of ice cold Coca-Cola? Yeah, so there you go. Uh, Rick Solis writes in the live stream chat, I mean, you can clean your ba uh, car battery terminals with Coke. You got to wonder what's really in it. Hmm. And how, uh, how many times have you drank a can of Coca-Cola? Have you lost count? There you go. Uh, Ruciford, uh, maple throat, you wrote flavoring. Uh, oh my God. Uh, holistic radical. I need sodas. How else can I trigger a massive insulin response by, uh, instantly jacking up my blood sugar to emergency? <laughs> uh, 
Let's see. Uh, and Marina Flowers writes, I stopped drinking soda five years ago. The sugar alone will disable you. Oh, my goodness. Uh, there you go. It's <laughs> big. Mr. Firebird writes, it's the it's the real thing. And then hold on, Ryan Ragnar. Yeah, you're right. Hold on. Hey, Kit, you got to pay extra for that ammonia. Nitrogen ain't cheap, you know. And then Wendy Carballo. Uh, this one's this one's uh, sadly my sister drinks that stuff all day long. It's just gross. Share this article with her. Share it. Hey, sharing is caring, folks. Share it. Talk about it. <laughs> What a disgusting world we live in. So anyway, so as a final note, folks, um, you know, seriously, read read the labels that's on the food that you buy and uh, seriously look into all these major corporations and what they're what they're really putting into our food and what they're having on their uh, on site at their facilities. Keep your head on a swivel, folks.